Hello trainees, um, this, I'm here to um, walk you through on how to list a property using a specific MLS system. So for today, we're going to use a certain um, MLS portal, which is commonly used by realtors located in Southern California, which is the MLS.com. So for us to get started, first let me uh, provide you with all the um, documents that you need for you to list a property. So aside from the MLS portal system, you would also need number one, the listing agreement of the property on the market. So listing agreement, this is the one being sent by the asset manager to the um, listing agent. And on the listing agreement, the list price, the um, listing dates, and the commission terms are specified in here then aside from that you would also need the realist sheet or the tax sheet and also you would need the past MLS sheet for that property that you're going to list and also you would need some uh, pictures of the property because when listing a property on the MLS of course you need to include pictures so now let's log on to the MLS system. To get started, click new listing. And then when you hit new listing, it will um, pop up this window. So according to realist sheet, we would look at it. It says that our subject property, which is 15702 South Maple Avenue in Gardena, California, is a single family residential. So let's select the first option under select a property type, then select a county. So as per the uh, tax realist sheet, it's located in LA County. So select Los Angeles. And then enter the APN number. So APN number is the same with the tax ID. So we should also obtain it from the realist sheet, which is this one. So just copy paste that. And then hit continue. And then it should direct us to the screen. So we ju just have to complete the fields that are required. So please make note that those that has this um, tag which is required, those are the fields that you have to input. So you would notice that some fields are already pre-populated. So now we just have to um, complete some missing fields that are required. So for this one, for source of lot size, it should always be um, assessor. And then for the list price, let's check it out on the listing agreement. As per listing agreement, the list price for the property is that amount. And then for the area, for the area, we also have to look it up on the uh, tax real sheet. And as per our real sheet, it says that it's located in Central Gardena. So going back on the MLS portal let's click select area button because it would give us or yeah it would give us selection of the uh, specific area where the uh, property is located and then it would give us this window so for um, since our property is located in Los Angeles County
So since our property is located in Los Angeles County, let's do a manual search on the upper um, box. So let's type in Central Gardena. And then hit OK. Then for the directions, you can probably um, look it up on the past MLS sheet. And here, according to our past MLS sheet for that same property, the uh, most accurate direction is. Um, as it says in here, it's on the corner of 157th Street. So let's just indicate that same um, directions. And then whether it's attached or detached, since this property is a single residential, so it's already, uh, yeah it's a given thing that it's always it's a detached property and then whether it's furnished or not so to, for us to be safe let's just say it's not furnished or no and then maids or yeah maids it means that whether it or not it has a maids quarter so let's just put no And then on this section, some fields are required. So for sale type, since this is, or we're dealing with a bank owned property, so we should select real estate owned or REO or bank, uh, yeah, bank owned properties. Then for occupancy or showings instructions, since this is a vacant property, so we should just put it as super lockbox. It actually depends on the client. Then for air conditioning, let's just say it's other. Then for equipment, also other. Depends on your client. Then for fireplace, since this property, according to the pictures, uh, we do not, it doesn't have any fireplace. So let's just put as none. And then for flooring, based from the picture, Okay, based from the picture, the property is relatively, uh, yeah, has uh, tile flooring according to the pictures or the, yeah, most recent pictures of the property. And it also has some partial carpeting on it and some rooms. So here, let's select carpet and tile. Then for heating, let's put as other. And then for laundry, since there is a laundry uh, area for this property, let's just put as other. Then for parking, it has a, an attached parking. So let's put it as attached. You can also look it up on the pictures, the kind of uh, parking, whether it's detached or attached. And then for rooms, for us to be safe, let's just put as other. Same with the style. For the style, normally it's traditional. Depends again on your client. And for the view, let's just put as none or no view for us to be safe. And then here, on the listing type, um, since this is an REO property, mostly it should be executive or exclusive rights. Then for limited service, let's just put as no. Then for MLS entry only, it's yes. Load internet, of course, it's a yes. And then for allow automated value models and virtual office websites, let's just put it as yes. It's already pre-populated. 
allow comments that's just yeah it's also pre-populated and then for the listing date for the listing date let's look it up on the uh, ML, uh, listing agreement and it says in here that the listing period is from Feb 3 to May 3 so here let's put it on this format so month day and the year expiration date or the listing the end date of the listing period so that's May 3 so that's month day and year and then for this field that says commission to buyer's agent it's always a yes because for every commission on the sale of a property it's split into two commission to the listing agent commission to the buyer's agent and then for the commission whether it's percentage or by amount let's look it up on the listing agreement again again for the commission according to the listing agreement it says in here that the um, you will see this verbiage supposedly which says if the sales price is equal or greater to 50 grand the cooperating broker will receive 3% of the sale price of the property so when we say cooperating broker that is the uh, buyer's agent so as per the listing agreement the commission of the buyer's agent will be 3% of the sales price and then for the field should street number be displayed of course it's a yes same with street name yes and then for this field that says would you like to schedule an open house let's just put it as a no for now then we're almost done so let's hit save incomplete listing So now that um, the required fields are almost complete, let's hit save complete listing. And it would say that, yeah, um, this property has been successfully listed. You must upload photos within five business days. So for now, let's upload photos to, for us to complete the process of listing a property. So click the photo tab on top of the screen and it should direct us to this um, new window wherein we're going to upload photos. So hit add photos button and then let's upload the photos one by one. For the main photo or the, uh, yeah, the uh, cover photo of course we should upload the front picture of the property. All right, so let's select the front photo. And then continue to upload the rest of the photos until they are all completed. And just a, t uh, just a note, please make sure that the photos you upload on the MLS are clean and attractive photos. So when we say clean photos, there should be no um, personal properties in it, no cars, no signages or anything like that they should be clean and attractive photos of the property so you should have at least a front photo several interior photos and a few exterior photos like the side section of the property and the neighboring block once photos are completely um, added so let's just hit add to upload the photos Alright, so now that the photos are completely uploaded, I think we're almost done with the procedure. So hit finish and hit save complete listing. And this is how our MLS listing for the property 15702 South Maple Avenue, Gardena, California looks like. 
So again, thanks everyone for listening in and have a great um, listing activity.